trust which was at the heart of a scandal into deaths at a maternity unit is facing new questions tonight over deaths in another department. MPs in Lancashire and Cumbria have written to the Health Secretary demanding a formal inquiry into deaths in the urology unit at the Morecambe Bay Trust. They claim that once again there's evidence of a cover-up and obstruction by the Trust. Our health correspondent Jill Dummigan reports. So this is all the, all the paperwork that you've collected over the years? Yes, since, since Dad died. And Peter Reid had long-term kidney problems. Towards the end of 2014, he was admitted to the Royal Lancaster Hospital for other issues. But while there, the stent in one of his kidneys started to cause a serious infection. Dad was just getting worse and worse. We were just at the end of the tether. When you told something by people in authority that this is what's happening, you believe that that's the right thing that is happening. And unfortunately, it wasn't. Peter died on January the 2nd, 2015. An inquest found that his death was partly because of sepsis and that his kidney stent wasn't changed quickly enough. The consultant who eventually did change it was Peter Duffy, who was horrified at what had happened. He felt the trust's subsequent investigation wasn't done properly and reported it to the CQC. In April, he told this programme that the Trust had then effectively forced him out of his job. Until people feel empowered to speak up, until they really feel safe, you're not going to stop these NHS scandals because people will just look the other way because they're frightened of this kind of retaliation. Just over a year ago, Peter Duffy was awarded £102,000 for unfair dismissal. He'd spent years raising concerns about a small number of consultants in the urology department. He felt that the trust still wasn't being open about what was going on, so he wrote a book about it. That book has now become an Amazon bestseller. Mr Duffy also a journalist to bring other cases to light, but she too says she's been blocked by Morecambe Bay Trust. The attitude of the trust does has at times been very defensive and dismissive and of one which they are trying to keep things from me rather than trying to give everything to the public, to the patients and to the paper. Four and a half years ago, this hospital trust made national headlines over its failure to properly investigate the deaths of 11 babies and one mother at Furness General Hospital. After a damning independent inquiry, it said it had learned lessons. But four of the area's MPs aren't so sure. They've written an open letter to the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, criticising the trust's attitude and asking for another independent inquiry. They need to show results. It's no longer any good simply saying, yes, we understand, because these changes should have been made after Kirkup. So we need to move as quickly as possible to, a, uh, to agreeing the form of this independent inquiry and getting it underway. The Trust says it had already written to NHS England to ask for that inquiry to go ahead. We just need the truth now. I mean... It's not an easy truth to listen to or to read, but I think from the family's point of view, that's, that's what we need is the truth. And if, if anything can come out of this, it's really to stop other families having to go through what we went through. Jill Dummigan reporting there, and earlier Jill spoke to the chief executive of the Morecambe Bay Trust, Aaron Cummings, and she began by asking him about the lack of faith in the Trust from all its area MPs. I've met with uh, local MPs um, since the letter and agree with them that an external review of some of the issues that have been raised around urology is the best way forward. Um, we've agreed that as a, as a board. Um, I think from my perspective, the MPs are responding to some of the concerns that local constituents have raised through the media, um, completely understand their request. Uh, and I do think actually looking at the history of the actions that the organisation has taken over that period, um, an external review of whether the organisation responded appropriately and effectively or whether there are issues that we could have done differently or better, um, I'd be really interested to see the outcome of that review and if there are any issues that we need to address, we can, we can do that. Essentially they're saying they want an external review because they don't have any faith in the top management of the hospital to do it themselves. OK, so that's not the conversation that I've had with the local MPs. Um, there is definitely a view of making sure that um, if we have the oversight of the actions that have been taken Just before, to read from the letter, it says that they think a review taken 
an internal review, such existing steps would be manifestly insufficient. Okay, so in terms of the response that I've had, I can only speak for the conversations I've had with the MP. Um, I didn't get a sense of any mistrust in the leadership or management of the organisation, um, but they did feel that given the issues raised and the period of time that an external review would be the most appropriate way forward, and that's something I would support and have supported. Some of our viewers watching this, they will have watched everything all those years ago, yeah. about the maternity scandal, they've looked at the Kirkup report, they've looked at what's happening now, and they'll be sitting here listening to this thinking, why should I believe that anything's changed? I think, have a look at our evidence. So this isn't me standing on camera saying, don't worry, we're all fine, we've done everything that we said we would in, in Kirkup. Have a look at our patient feedback. Have a look on our website around the quality of service information that we have on there. Look at the CQC report on the services that we provide. So I'm really confident that the standard and the quality of services today is good. Um, but we don't get things right every time. So, you know, if we do make mistakes, if we do have errors, then we'll be open and honest and say that we've made a mistake and we'll do everything we can to fix it. Mm -hmm.